Today is Christmas. It is the day that we celebrate the birth of the Prince of Peace. The day we honor the one living God who became flesh. And in honor of him, I'm going to say this. I don't know if you'll watch this, but Donald Trump and Ted Cruz, I love you. There's so much hatred in the political system right now. I see the hate that you have for Hillary Clinton. I don't like Hillary Clinton. I, I don't trust her, but I don't hate her. The things you say, the vulgarities, this is not the way politics is supposed to be. And I may consider you my spiritual enemy, but I love you. I don't want my enemies to be destroyed. I don't want to gloat at the misfortune of my enemies. I want my enemies to become my friends. I want them to come to Christ. I am going to read a little bit of scripture. Um, this is Matthew 6, 4. You've heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, for you may be sons of your Father in heaven. You know one of the last words that Jesus said before he died? Father, forgive them. They do not know what they do. Donald Trump and Ted Cruz do not know what they are doing. They honestly think that they are doing good. And what we have to do is show them in a loving way that they are sadly mistaken, that they are playing on our basest fears. We don't hate as Christians. We hate certain things. Uh, we hate injustice. We hate immorality. But we love our enemies. I mean, the whole thing, hate the sinner, love the sin. Love the sinner, hate the sin. I love him. I love Donald Trump. I love Ted Cruz. Can they say the same thing? Do they love Hillary Clinton? You can disagree with someone and treat them with respect and Christian love. I don't see that with Trump. I don't see that with Cruz. I, I really don't see that with anyone uh, except for uh, Kasich. And what really bothers me, uh, those who support Ted Cruz and those who support Donald Trump who consider themselves Christians, you're not. You're not following his teachings, and he who loves my teachings, follow him. He, me, he who doesn't, does not. Uh, John 14, 21, and his teachings are Matthew 5 to 7 and sprinkled throughout the Bible. You spread hate. I'm not going to return your hate with hate. It's so difficult, though. My human nature makes me want to hate you. But God says I can't. And am I doing that because that's what my God commanded? Yes. But I'm also doing it because hate consumes. I've been a troll on Facebook, posting so many things, so many nasty things. I, I even called myself a troll for Christ. Hatred consumes. It's a fire. It destroys us. Our nation is sick. Our nation is in trouble. We are heading for a very dark place. Sometimes I feel like we are like Weimar Germany before Hitler took power. And I'm not saying that Donald Trump or, T or Ted Cruz is Hitler. But imagine, if someone sat down Adolf Hitler after World War I, and when he was starting, and maybe right after the Munich Pooch, and said, I love you. 
But more important, God loves you. He hates what you're doing. You're spreading hate and fear, Adolf. Don't do this. Don't go down this road. But we have free will. So if we go down an evil road, we go down the evil road with our choice. A little coaching by Satan, but by our choice. So please, for the rest of the campaign season, treat your enemies with love. Like I said, I don't trust Hillary. I think her husband was one of the most immoral presidents uh, since uh, William McKinley. But I treat them with human dignity. I didn't like Bush. I thought he was reckless and got us into a war that helped destroy the economy and helped create ISIS. But I never called him names. I never treated him with the disrespect that you treat our president. And if I did, you guys would be after me. Love Obama. Love Hillary. Love your enemies. And one more piece of scripture. Romans 13, 19. Do not take revenge, my friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. By doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. I mean, that's strong words. But I have to ask you a question. Those who support Donald Trump and Ted Cruz, if Hillary Clinton was dying of thirst, would you give her water? If Obama was hungry, would you feed him? You see a liberal progressive, do you talk? Try to say, this is where you're wrong. I mean, you're good at this point. Like, we should have border security. I understand you want gun control, but these things, yes, these things, no. And when you sign the bill, we're not going to go any further. No slippery slope. I understand we disagree, but we don't have to destroy the country over it. We don't have to shut down the government over, over our disagreements. We are Christians. And you keep saying we're a Christian nation. Act like it. Senator Cruz, your father said that you are an anointed king of God. Act like it. Show love, show peace, show kindness, show generosity, show love. Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, I don't know what happened. I don't know who hurt you along the road. I don't know if you had brutal fathers, fathers who didn't love you, fathers who treated you like shit and said, this is how you obey. If your fathers didn't show you the love of God, God loves you. Yes, he wants you to do what he wants, but he does so because he knows what's best for you. He's an authoritative parent. He's not an authoritarian. And he's not a permissive parent either, liberals. So please, love your enemies. As God loves us when we are enemies of him. The prodigal son, it's not too late to repent. Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, and the Republican Party, it's not too late to repent and come to Christ. I love you. I hate what you're doing, but I love you. God bless.